we consulted uh, experts um, from our universities uh, on this matter, and there are a range of different views. Some think that the wave can peak at about 5,000 new daily cases or slightly above that. Some think that it will go much higher to around 10,000 daily cases. So there, there is a range of uncertainty. You know, no model can predict with absolute certainty what the epi curve will look like in the next few weeks. But it just simply means that we have to be prepared for these range of possible outcomes. Whatever the curves, whatever the new cases are in the coming weeks, we just have to use this time to have enough capacity to deal with the wave of cases and to review, update, and simplify our healthcare protocols, as Minister Ong said just now, so that people can understand and can comply with the measures. So that's what we are doing during this period. Of course, when we see such a surge of cases during these few days, several thousand a day, I know it can be quite worrying. And, and you, you have two sorts of very sharp reactions from different people. One group says, look, it's so high. Let's quickly lock down and bring cases down. Another group says, well, this is completely to be expected. After all, we talked about being living with COVID, so move forward. And let me just respond briefly to these two groups. The reaction to the first group that wants to tighten further is, look, we have gone beyond that point. We have already said because of our high vaccination rate, we are no longer focusing solely on headline numbers. Our focus is on the people who are seriously ill and to make sure that our healthcare system is able to take care of them. That remains our focus. So let's not get too carried away by the headline numbers or too anxious or fearful about those numbers. Our response to the second group who wants to continue opening up is this. Please be patient. Our overall strategy to reopening has not changed. But this is the first time we are experiencing such a big wave and it is causing tremendous stresses on our healthcare system and our healthcare workers. Procedures, protocols have to be changed and adjusted. New capacity has to be added into the system. All this takes a little bit of time and that's why we are putting in place these measures in the stabilization phase so that we can get all these things ready. Even as we go about this exercise over during this period this week and over the next few weeks, I think we should also be prepared that this will not be the last wave we experience. We are riding one major, one big wave now, but we should be mentally prepared that there will be subsequent waves to follow. Why is that so? It's because we are one of the most COVID-naive populations in the world. Unlike, for example, many other European countries, we have kept infections rate infections in Singapore low for a very long time. Many European countries experienced large waves last year, if you recall. They, ex they went through these waves before they had the chance for their people to be vaccinated. And many countries ended up paying a high price, suffering high fatalities because of the waves that they experienced last year. But now, they have a much higher level of natural immunity. And together with the vaccination programs that they have introduced, many of these countries have reached a new COVID sta uh, stable situation where they are able to resume activities and they have not seen any resurgence of cases. We are in a different position. In many ways, we are fortunate because we are facing this wave now with a much more highly vaccinated population. And that means that the vast majority of our people will be protected against serious illness. And that also means that we can get through this and any subsequent waves with fewer casualties than the European countries. 
and eventually with, we will reach a point with high vaccinations and with a higher level of natural immunity, we too will eventually reach a point, perhaps months later, uh, where we are more similar to the European countries and the COVID situation stabilizes and we are able to reopen more confidently without seeing a new wave of cases. So as we get through this process of you know, experiencing these waves, I think we have to go remember something that is for the vast majority of people who catch the virus in Singapore because of our high vaccination rates. 98%, the vast majority of them will have zero or mild symptoms. And we can all recover from home for, for the 98% of cases. There is nothing to be fearful about. In fact, there's nothing to be embarrassed about if you catch COVID because sooner or later, many of us will end up catching the virus. But we will have zero or mild symptoms recover from home after a few days, we will be able to get back on our feet and go back to work. 